Hey everyone, I am Roman and today I want to show you an easy and free way on how to track your keywords rank performance directly on Google Data Studio. So it's so easy, you need to have Google Search Console and right after that you need to use some uh, regex on dashboard as a filter and you need to have a keyword list so at the final part you will have a table like this one firstly you need to have like i said a keyword list which may be really a lot of them so i choose just some of them uh, which includes seo but you might uh, want to track some specific keywords it's up to you how many uh, you would like to track as a performance keyword uh, position or landing pages average position or impressions or average position versus clicks or something like that. It's up to you what you want to do. So uh, let's get started. You need to um, authorize your Google Search Console account into Google Data Studio. So first steps is this one. You will need to uh, include uh, Search Console and out, and then Bootstrap. For example, this is our website, and then Site Impressions, and then Web. So add here this one. You'll need to wait a little bit. Yep. So we have it now, right? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now, uh, click to dimension and then you see Google property. Choose query and then you see here average position. Take it here. Yep. So now we have all the keywords which we uh, get impressions, clicks, traffic, etc. performance on Google Search Console regarding our website, of course. So now uh, we need to create a filter, which is from here, filter and table filter. Add, include, and then you will see here also query select query and then regex contains so here is here is it now we go back to our keywords and we need to uh, write a formula on google sheets so text join you need to write text join and then straight bar oops yep and then true and then select all of the keywords you see right here you have on your table now we have all the keywords which is available for regex code copy it and then enter it right here then save it so now you have your keywords list right on your Data Studio dashboard. Uh, if you want to change uh, some metrics from, from here, for example, I added just clicks and average position. And you also can uh, make it ascending, like from better to the uh, less one. Oops, average position, yep that one yep so now we have it and then you also can add some extra dimensions right if you want for example uh, drop down list you can add it right here by adding uh, this drop down uh, on your dashboard you can also filter some different keywords you would like to see not to uh, click next 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 if you have a long really long uh, keyword list so now we have also this 
that's it. You need to uh, just to do some cosmetic things like to design if you'd like. So this is very easy. It's free. You need to have Google Search Console. You need to do these steps and it's really easy to track your keywords rank performance. Uh, like I said, it's free. You can use also SEMrush or Ahrefs or different tools. There is a lot of tools you can use for keyword tracking uh, performance. But this keywords is just based on your Google Search Console data. So if you don't have traffic or any average position for these keywords, uh, which we added here, you will not get any uh, data from this table because it's based, like I said, on your Google Search Console. That's it. I hope you enjoyed and see you on the next video tutorial. Bye bye.